Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing my November favourites video. So this is everything that I have loved this month. In case you didn't know, my birthday is in November. So usually this month is pretty good for me. I usually have a lot of things that I really like and also because it's usually blockbuster time so a lot of good movies come out and a lot of good TV series are out this time so yeah, you can guess that November is probably going to be the best month for me. Just saying. So as you know, probably if you've been watching our videos, I am a big fan of Little Mix and I have been highly anticipating their new album Get Weird. So, of course, my first thing on this list is going to be Little Mix Get Weird. Now, this was a birthday present from my dad, and as you can see, it is signed. And this came in like a little package. Um, I'll show you in a different video when I do what I've recently bought or been given as a present. Little Mix are quite cheeky, as you probably already know. I don't know if this was an accident or if this was intended, but on my version, Jade has got a little ink great ink here and I think it was probably Leanne because completely opposite to this one is Leanne's signature so I'm guessing that it was Leanne but of course I can't be sure so my dad also got me as a little present um, the HMV special case well special um, dust cover whatever you want to call it I don't know what it's called um, but yeah, and it, as you can see, it's completely different from the deluxe version. Um, but when we open it, is it, there you go, again, different. It's not like Salute, where Salute was the same, just different colour. It is completely different, um, completely different from cover to the deluxe version. So there's the two comparisons. My favourite song off the album, well, a lot of people ask me this and I'm just like, I don't know, because I love the whole album. I think it's a great album um, and it's so it's so typically Little Mix, but it's not typical in the fact that they're still doing like their style that they did on DNA. It's a combination between DNA and Salute, I think would be a great way to describe it, but also it's very 60s, it's very Motown type. Uh, but my favourite song it usually depends on my mood. So at the moment it's between Love Me or Leave Me or Like Me. So yeah, that's Get Weird. Okay, so November means movies, which means Hunger Games, which means my other favourite is Mockingjay. Now this is not Mockingjay Part 2, as you can clearly see that says Part 1. But Mockingjay Part 2 came out and I absolutely love it, so it's on my favourites video. I'm seeing it again this week, um, which will be the second time I've seen it. I absolutely love Hunger Games, so yeah, that's my other favourite for this month. Now, some of you are going to hate me because I did not read the book before I watched the first Hunger Games. In fact, I read it afterwards, but the reason I did was because um, my friend wanted to do something one day, we wanted to go cinema, but there wasn't really anything on but The Hunger Games. And we both sort of wanted to read it before we went and watched the film. But it came to the point where it was nearly out of cinema and we didn't want to miss the opportunity to see it. So we went, we went to watch it. I think my friend Bethan had either read the whole book or was halfway through, I can't remember. But yeah, we both went to see it and I loved it. I loved the experience, it was so good that I read the book. Now that I've watched Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2, I was like, okay, I want to reread the books again. And in case you're going to hate me because you're supposed to be reading Harry Potter, you need to finish Harry Potter first. Well, I am still reading Harry Potter. I'm currently still on Order of the Phoenix. I don't know if I told you in that in another video. No, I probably didn't. But yeah, I'm on Order of the Phoenix. But I'm also reading Hunger Games. So this is another one of my favourite, this is my favourite book at the moment. I'm on chapter 16. I'm just after the part where Katniss and Rue have teamed up. So uh, if you haven't read The Hunger Games or seen any of the films, I encourage you to see it because they are so good and so worth seeing. And you will love it and you'll have a great experience, whether you're male or female, because it's not really... I wouldn't say it's a female movie, I'd say that it, it, it incorporates both men and women because I have loads of male friends who love it and so I would encourage you to go and see it. So November means that Doctor Who is 
coming to an end i.e. they're finishing the series they're currently on and are going to the Christmas. So Doctor Who is my favourite TV series at the moment. I have loved Doctor Who since 2005. My sister was the person who introduced it to me and I'm so thankful she did because it has really helped me become the person that I am today. It's helped me grow and it's helped me to be myself. I absolutely love Doctor Who and I'm not afraid to say it because it's just such a good series and if you haven't seen it I would definitely recommend it because it is my favourite British TV series so please go and watch it if you haven't seen it because it's so good. And they're on season 9 so you've got you've got a lot of seasons to get through so you're not going to have that withdrawal where you watch a whole box set and then you're miserable because you haven't watched because there's not enough episodes released because there's nine series and it's so good and you have also the old series which is as good um, I love the old series so Doctor Who is my favourite TV series at the moment um, this is the current DVD I have just like with the Hunger Games obviously that wasn't that was Mockingjay part one but this is Doctor Who this is the current one that I have um, The Last Christmas this is a good episode um, but yeah Doctor Who definitely recommend it if you haven't seen it because it is amazing I'm being serious and you've got nine series come on catch up so as you can probably guess my final um, thing is going to be my favorite actress at the moment and that would be Jenna Louise Coleman and this is the only picture I have of her I actually recently realized after looking at Jenna Coleman's IMDB that she was in the Titanic series um, TV series that they showed and when I realized that I was just like oh my goodness like I watched her in that and I enjoyed her character in that she was like my she was my literally favorite character from that um, from that TV series and I was just like oh my goodness me and my mum watched that and now she's like the companion of the doctor like that's amazing and I remember watching her in Water Waterloo Road as well like and not realizing that it was her she's been in so many TV series and I just haven't realized um, but yeah I love her she's so amazing and she has inspired me to be to continue to want to be an actress and to be that and to be in that environment one day hopefully I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it um, I hope that you have been inspired to watch Dot Who or The Hunger Games or whatever um, to listen to Little Mix get weird because they're my favorite things and I want all my, I want you to appreciate my favorite things as much as I appreciate it but you don't have to if you don't want to I'm not going to force you to do anything that you don't want to do if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you haven't already and comment below my question of this video is going to be if you're a Dot Who fan what did you think of Clara's exit did you enjoy it I thought it was beautiful um, I think it suits Clara very well and I think it gives her a really good send off it leaves her in a brave note and I think it's beautiful and very emotional but if you didn't like it tell me because I want to know I want to know if you thought oh maybe it wasn't the right exit for her maybe it wasn't the right time or just I want to know what you think I want to know your thoughts if you don't like Doctor Who if you're not Huvian that's okay my other question is what did you think of Hunger Games Mockingjay part 2 did you think it was really good did you think it was true to the book as much as I did um, just let me know I want to know and if you don't like Dot Who, you don't like Hunger Games, tell me what you think of Get Weird if you have or haven't listened to it. Tell me what your favourite song is. Tell me what your favourite Little Mix album is. I don't know, just anything. I just want to hear from you guys because we love you and we, we want to know your stories and your ideas and whatever. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget that we love you and I hope you have a really good day today. Bye! <laughs>